Anyway, these are JBL passive speakers. What are they, Zeus? What are they? Oh my God. You cannot wait. Can you not wait? I can't wait. Yes. Oh, that box is ripped. Oh my God, they're heavy. They are the JBL Arena B15, and they're $107 a pair. And I bought them because two speakers included in carton. Nice. I think cheap $100 speaker shootouts like going to be in order. And I think people need something they could use for their rear channels. That's not just Micah's. And maybe their front channels. See, that's the thing. I did that whole home theater like starter video, like how do you start. And then I saw these and I'm like, you know what? I wonder if those suck. And thanks to the Patreon, which supports this channel and all of these unboxings. And all the subsequent reviews and all the subsequent yard sales. We get to find things out. And this is the heaviest fucking little speaker I've ever picked up. Holy shit. That thing's got some weight to it. So, so. So, are we starting to, starting to get the picture? Are you picking up what I'm putting down, fam? They are a flat wall mount speaker. I mean, look, look, they've even got a groove in the back for running the wire up. You got the flush, flush, flat. I don't have two, but I would just put it on the wall. Actually, can I still get this on with one? I don't know if that's gonna fit. Where the hell is my hole? Giggity. Actually, if that's what she said, you got a problem. I'm pretty sure my screw is too big. I also said that. Point is, so, dense. Aff. Flat. Oh my god. I have to get a spatula out. Pry this off. Ugh. I actually lifted my leg up to try to get counterweight. Ta da! Look at that tweeter. Oh my god, I want to comment it. No, I'm just not taking that back. That that's like a matte, rubberized fucking... Ah, oh, and that's a five and a quarter, and look at it, the ribs. We have no port. Are we portless? We're portless. So it's a sealed five and a quarter. I was hoping it would have like a down-firing port or something, but that's a sealed five and a quarter with that JBL tweeter in it. Oh, God, that looks sexy. I love the... Like, some speakers are like, I don't want to see any hardware. I want to see... The customized goddamn Allen keys to hold that in. The top's got a slight angle back, which actually, wow, if those work on a desk. I mean, for $107, these are like the best $100 pair of speakers I've ever felt. Like build quality, those micas can suck a dick. This feels fucking good. I wonder why they went with that angle on top. That's super weird. I guess so does, I don't know. I don't know why would they would, well I know is that if you put them upside down, like I usually use speakers, you gotta tilt back. Kinda like Bucard S400s, just saying. So yeah, let's unbox these. I'm, I'm, I'm more excited about listening to these than I am about the Kef R3s that I was. I'm like, ooh, because $107 in this build quality. Not hopeful for the low end, but if that tweeter can perform, oh please just perform, just, just, and I love that the grill, when you put the grill on, oh, it still shows JBL, unless this rotates. No, I gotta have to peel it off. Interesting and exciting. Interesting and exciting JBL speaker coming. And there's, they're fucking heavy. They're like, that's a good seven, eight pounds. 7.7 7 pounds. 7.7 7 pounds each. Who's the man? High five. No? Fucking eight pounds a speaker. I love they come with a drilling template. That's nice. So that you know exactly where to place them on the wall. I could just, that's that's the best part about this whole thing. You go right there, You go, I put this on the other one, and I go, whoop, I bolt another one, boom, bolts on. Amazing, $107. Too cheap not to buy at least and try them out. All right, I'm back to work and bitching a pasta. <laughs> 